Hey guys, I'm Jack and I'm Marcella and we just got back from the movies. We just got back from seeing Christopher Robin and we cried like 80. I, I know that I was in tears majority of that movie. I want to say like 80% I cried yes, in this movie. Yeah, it's a very, very emotional movie. And I feel very heavy after going to see it. Like it, like, it was just emotional. Like it was I very feel emotional. happy but I also feel sad. It's just you it's feel a, a lot when watching this movie. Yeah, I think it's a very bittersweet movie mm -hmm. and like it's um... Yeah, it's just a lot of emotion. Like, it's also a feel-good really good movie, though, you. as well. It's touching. So, yeah. Yeah, like, I think the writing was beautiful in mm -hmm. it. And I loved, I loved it. I really did. But it was just so emotional. Like, yeah. I was just very emotional seeing it. And I did, it was beautiful. It was heart touch. It was heartwarming. But it was also, it was very moving and touching. It was very moving. I just think it was, um... I don't know. It was just sad. I was just sad during parts of it because, like, it deals with, like, growing up and it's just, like, yeah, it's, it just gets you, uh, like, right there and it just, it really, like, just knows how to, like, pull at your heartstrings like, this movie. I loved Winnie the Pooh all going, growing up, so to see this movie, it was just, like, like, seeing it now, like, at 25, it was yeah. just really... It was a lot, and yeah, I think I think it's definitely worth going to see, especially it's, it's if you love Winnie the Pooh. It's a real. It was. It, it was, was a really, really great. Movie. It was a really great movie. Yeah. It was. It was very family oriented. Mm -hmm. and rating wise, like I feel like I would have to. I have to give this an A because it just touched me so yeah, I would much. Because I think the, it, the writing was really and really the writing beautiful. was yeah, great. So I would definitely give this an like a. I can't give this anything other than an A. It, it was a really good movie. I we did really love it. I think. Yeah, I thought it had a great message. It did. So, the message was really yeah. great. And yeah, definitely go see it in the theater. And then you bring some tissues. <laughs> Might want to bring some tissues yeah. in the movie theater, um, yeah. But yeah, go see it in theaters. And then we can come back and you can talk about it with us. Love how in the beginning it opens up with the book. I love how it was like the sto the storybook of Winnie the Pooh and it went kind of like back and forth like that a lot in the beginning yeah. where it would like have like um, the dialogue like you well you would see like all you would see like the words like on the page and then it would transition to like the scene, the scene and it would it was just like go it written like really well it was like a smooth transition and I thought that was like that was really um like unique yeah I love the way that they told the story I loved how like it was really sad in the beginning because Christopher Robin is going off to boarding school and it's really like they're having like a party like a farewell Christopher Robin and yeah right away I'm like oh right no away, it's oh like, no oh, oh. and it, it was that really sad song about the farewell, uh, the farewell song, song. it's just like oh no it's gonna be a really sad <laughs> yeah. movie once he talks to Pooh by himself and they walk off alone that's really like that was where it was bad. Yeah. Like it, it got really, really sad. Yeah, and um, Pooh is like, "Too bad it's over. I would have liked it to go on a while longer." And I just feel like that quote like sums up like childhood. That sums up like, like your childhood, like, like, like in general. Too like, bad it's like, over, yeah. but you just wanted to keep going because mm -hmm. like I feel like what this movie really did is. It got it brought an adult back to their childhood and then it brought you like those emotions of like you know when you're a kid you're so innocent and like you have your best mindset when you're a kid yeah. you're so family oriented your friends like Christopher Robin was such a was so innocent and then his life became pretty hard like in between those pages we see he went to war mm -hmm. he lost his father and he but he did fall in love but at the same time he, exactly he fell in love he got yeah. married he had his daughter he had a daughter so like his life and, was really really happy too and then the past but few years past it seemed years, like it got really bad because of I, his job yeah, yeah and I feel like that's something everybody can relate to because when you're living your life you get so consumed with the work that you forget about what really matters and that's really what happened to Christopher Robin in this movie yeah even at the end of the movie he's like he says it like he really he lost himself and then yeah. by having his childhood brought back to him it brought him back down to what was the most important and I love the message so yeah, much it was a beautiful and message. it was so it beautiful was. It really but it was. was really sad the saddest parts of this movie was in the beginning like when they're when, saying goodbye and then yeah. that part like I was like I was already like kind of like emotional, but the more emotional I got was when Pooh came back and he brought him into the Hundred Acre Woods. 
We'll talk about that a little later, yeah. but that was really where that, the emotions came from. Well, no, and I then, think in the, in the beginning, I think the line when he had said, um, he said to hit the to young Christopher Robin, what would happen if you ever forgot about me? And he was like, silly old bear, no. I'm in here, and like, point to his head, his head, and he's like, oh. Oh my god. And then in the very beginning though, they have that line of doing nothing leads to very yes. best of something. And that, that, and that really, line that is like line, the theme of yeah. the whole movie. And that, that comes back important. a lot. Because then when he grew up, he was like, it was like nothing comes from nothing. And then mm -hmm. his mind, his, his whole mindset just changed, changed. because he got, he got consumed with mm -hmm. like, with things in his real life and his job. That, that don't matter as much as family. Yeah. And, like it was... It was really like emotional seeing Christopher yeah. Robin like grown up and like like I don't know because when you're little it's like Christopher Robin not supposed to grow up. I know. And it even showed it even showed the pages of the book at one point and it was like Christopher Robin leaves his childhood behind. Yeah, it's like <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Please don't do that to me. Can you not? Oh God. <laughs> I do love that it was told in like this picture book format because I feel like it brought a lot of like child like it was like a childish way of mm -hmm. saying a story that was just really touching and I think it was really relatable to people of all ages yeah, for and sure. I, I really did love it. Mm -hmm. Christopher Robin though when we really meet him he has he's bitter almost not like bitter but he's just he's just so consumed with his work life that he's not like He's not the Christopher Robin that we have knew because he grew up and he went through struggles and he went through a, a life, you know? And even with his daughter, like, when he meets his daughter, when he, when, first of all, it was really sad to me that he met his daughter when she was three. Like, he missed out on when yeah. she was a baby. I thought that was really sad, but... Um, when the daughter's like in the bed and he goes up and he's like telling her like I can't come with you guys to the oh, cottage yeah. because I have to go to work and everything and she's like you know can you read me a story and then he starts like reading a story about like the history of England or whatever like the Victorian and the Edwardian and she had like the Treasure Island book like under her pillow because yeah. she's a kid like she wants to she doesn't just want to study like she wants to to have fun and fun stories exactly. and read about adventures. And Christopher Robin forgot and, about that because yeah. he was like that in the beginning. He was like that in the beginning. He said that doing nothing was his favorite thing when he like yeah. threw a stick in the water and that's just what he wanted to do. He didn't want to go to boarding school, but he was pushing this on his daughter because to that's, that's what happened to him. School, yeah. So he forgot that that's really like he forgot what it was like to be young like that. Yeah. That's why his daughter didn't grow up like playing like that and that was so strange to her when like her mom even told her to play later on. Yeah, it was like this big deal yeah. to go play. We even get the line from Evelyn that he hasn't laughed in years. Like that's how his life had really turned, you know, because mm -hmm. Chris Robin was such a and light little boy. And he ends up laughing when he Aww. sees all of them again. And the music in this movie just... Oh my god, the music oh was so... God. It makes me so like, happy, but it also made me sad. Like, like at the same like, time. Like, the Winnie the Pooh music in, like, a grown-up setting. And then you yeah. had, like... Then we had, like, the Tigger song, like... Oh my god, I, I love when Tigger started bouncing and he said the song. I'm gonna get emotional. I, know, <laughs> I feel like this movie, it really made you, like, reevaluate what was important to you in your life. Yeah. In a way, because it's like, wow, like, maybe, like... There's some things that aren't as important as other things, and it's I like mean, I think maybe that... I should go back to like. And then we're in the car, and Adam Maria starts talking about how you know our Barbies we left them behind. What if they're waiting for us? Yeah, what if I'm they like, think we're coming back? I'm like, can you not? I mean, I think that that's something that is um, like so common. Like I do it. Like I think that whenever you're in you're struggling with something, you turn to like these stories that are comforting to you, that are familiar and everything. And I think that for Christopher Robin, he needed that, he needed that reminder at that point in his yeah. life because he was really missing out on his daughter's childhood and, and his he was wife. ruining yeah. his marriage. Exactly. So. And yeah, so yeah. who saved him in the end? Like they all saved each other. Because then you find out that Pooh in the Hundred Acre Woods was waiting for oh, him. Oh, oh my god. god. That like, whole part when we see Pooh waiting and he's standing in front he's standing in front of the door and you could see that time has passed by because then it's, it, there's snow on the ground and he's walking away with Piglet and he's waiting for Christopher Robin and Christopher Robin's not coming back. 
he didn't give up waiting for him. He just waited in front of that door, and yeah. and then eventually all of his friends disappeared, and he's by himself in the Hundred Acre Woods, and it's foggy, and he's like scared. Yeah, and he but goes through the door. And yeah, but when he when he does initially see Christopher Robin again, I love how he recognizes yeah, him. He recognized him immediately. Immediately, he's like, "You're the same in here," and touches his head, and it's like, "Oh God!" He's just like, "You have a few wrinkles, but you're the yeah. same." Like it was just really heartwarming yeah. when he first. When he, they first met each other, when they were sitting on the bench, mm -hmm. I thought it was really good. Before that, though, you had these subtle reminders of Madeline trying to show him his childhood. She brings out the drawings and is like, "Look, like, oh, my, like who mm -hmm. are?" Like, yeah, she sees the drawing of all of them, yeah. and and then he puts it down on the table, and the honey and spills the honey. on it, ruining the drawing. It's just. So Oh my god. Oh gosh. Like the little things in this movie really killed me. It really mm -hmm. did. And this is where it really started to get emotional because you got to see Christopher Robin as an adult interact with Pooh. And Pooh is such. He's so light and he's still childlike. And he's like. Because he's just. He's Pooh. And. So he asked for the balloon, like when they were going to save his oh, friends, yeah. and he's like, "Fine, like you know, like I'll take you back, but like I can't like help you or anything." I thought the balloon, and the symbolism the balloon, of like the balloon was really great, balloon. especially when um yeah. he was like um he's like, "You don't need it anymore," and he's like, "But it makes you, but it makes, it makes you ha happy. It makes me happy." Yeah, it was just so simple how like yeah. a balloon can make him so happy and. And then I love at the end, you see Christopher Robin leave the leave the Hundred Acre Woods with the balloon. Like the balloon was really significant, yeah, and it was. played a vital role in this entire story. Mm -hmm. They were on the train. He was trying to do his work and everything because he was trying to save his company. And you had Pooh who was playing that game, looking out the window, just oh naming all the things. And he's like, "Can you do that more quietly?" Like, it was just like, "Stop it, Christopher but Robin!" Then, like, let him yeah, play the game. But then later on, when, when later on when Christopher Robin's on the train, he started playing that he again. Played it again. And then the man on the train's <laughs> looking at him like a annoyed and it's yeah like, oh. oh my god when he was playing it again and then it transitioned to like his daughter actually playing mm -hmm. and it was just like this connection was just really yeah i love that sweet. when it went back and forth and she's using her imagination and she's really playing yeah. for probably like the first time in her life i love like the magic door like it really only worked that one time of with Pooh transitioning from he was coming from the Hundred Acre Woods into London. Like well, he had said, maybe we don't need it anymore. Like the door opened because they needed to. They use needed it. to use it. That yeah. was it. And I just, I love the simplicity of that. Mm -hmm. It was just a door, and they just. And went who just it said he's like, well, maybe we don't need it anymore because yeah. it like, disappeared. Yeah. yeah. And oh my god, when they go to the Hundred Acre Woods, and you had Christopher Robin like saying goodbye to Pooh, and it was just like. <sighs> Stop, like go with him. The like, worst was when Pooh dis at the point where Pooh disappears and Oh no 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 yeah 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 and he starts yelling at Pooh because of the the he the briefcase opens up I was and sobbing. all the papers and I was sobbing. Oh in the my theater. god like that was that was rough. That was probably that was what that really was, got me. That got me. I was sobbing in the theater. I was really just like me. I couldn't. Like I, did you let me go? And it was like oh, it was like that, I suppose that, I did. That was the worst. Did you let me go? Oh. And he, he tells him that he did, and he's just like I left. He tells him that he left his childhood behind, like stuff like that. And it was just and he's like I'm an adult now, and yeah. it was just like can you not? Like I was so sad, and then. And then um, Pooh disappears, and then of course Christopher Robin starts to worry and everything, and it was just really emotional that yeah. entire scene. And then he, and I then love he, when he, I love when he runs into everybody else, so especially yeah. like when he sees Eeyore and Eeyore is like floating well, down yeah. the stream. And Eeyore in this movie was actually really funny. Like <laughs> Eeyore is really obviously a very like depressed character, <laughs> but, he but was his funny. lines were were just like so out. Like this is a very like. Like, everybody else is so, all the other characters are so, like, fun and light. And then there's Eeyore. Yeah. <laughs> it's just I love his Eeyore, lines. Yeah, I really and loved his lines. When he goes on the bridge, I love that, how you got to see his childhood reflection in the, in the water. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really, that was a really good touch that they added. Yeah. And then. And he throws the stick in he it. He throws the stick, yeah. yeah. And then, um, when he goes to save Eeyore and he goes to jump in and he, like, holds his breath, yeah. like, ready to go. And it's not it's that like, deep oh, anymore. Yeah. I grew up. <laughs> like, I know you did, but like, you have to keep telling us. 
I loved when they went and they reunited with everybody and they didn't recognize that that was Christopher Robin at first. He had to he had to do the he whole thing with the heffa lump and he had to go. He had to yeah, go, like, he had to he had to he had to he yeah, had to save them. To save them and, and he's. And, and he's, he's like, like pretending he's using his to... umbrella, like pretending to defeat the heifer lump, and they're all like, "Oh my God, what's going on? What's going on?" <laughs> they're like, "It is Christopher Robin." Yeah, he's and then they finally him. realized that. I loved that. Yeah, like, I, I love, love that how, like, He was telling me like, "There is no such thing. Like, there is nothing. Like, we're fine. Like, just come out." And he realized like he needed to show them and defeat it for them because yeah. to them that was a very real terror you know exactly. and to go back down to like that childhood of like I have to save my friends from the monster. He had to become he had to become Robin from like when he was little again yeah he had to, to believe him. He had to do something from when he was little and I yeah. love that scene mm -hmm. I really did and then they have to go save then they go get Pooh and because Pooh is like right where he where were they like left him right where they say oh goodbye. my gosh right where they say goodbye that's where like, Pooh is with the freaking balloon like <sighs> I was crying this entire oh movie. God. When I tell you, I cried the whole movie. <laughs> I liked how, like, the setting of the Hundred Acre Woods, how it was very foggy and gloomy mm. and stuff. And then once Pooh disappears and Christopher Robin, he falls in, like, this pond, like, water type thing. And he goes through, like... Well, he fell in the hole. And he then fell in the hole. Raining. And then it rained. Yeah. And, yeah, it was raining. And it, it, like, knocked him on the head. And you see him go, like, you hear, like, come back to us. And it's, like, this sinking and swimming metaphor. And then mm -hmm. when he emerges out from that, it's all sunshine again. Yeah. And that was when he goes and he finds Eeyore. Like, I mm -hmm. love that. And then you get the line with, um, when Pooh was waiting. And he's like, it's always a sunny day when Christopher Robin comes. And it was sunny. <laughs> It so, was many, really, so many, so many, so many amazing lines, lines from like Winnie the Pooh too. Like, and he's like, I found that I remember, you. like silly old bear, and, like old silly bother, old just like lines that like just bring you back. It was, it was really <laughs> great to be back in the Hundred Acre Woods. I love when he found Pooh waiting for him in like the place where they had said goodbye when he was little, and he says, "You're a bear, a big heart." That, and yeah. then he he really tells Pooh like, "I'm lost," and Pooh says, um, "I found you." He said, "But I found you." And that's really just I what Pooh so wanted, was to them. find Christopher Robin yeah. again. Like, Pooh has been friend. waiting for him for so long. Like, his whole, like, the whole time Christopher Robin left and grew up, Pooh's just been waiting. So, the, just that really just, like, killed really me when he up. said, I found you. The whole movie, like, even, like, the happy moments were just so touching and, like, heartwarming yeah. that I cry. Exactly. Like, you cry like, the I sad cried parts sadness. I cried the happiness. happiness. Yeah. Like, this movie was just, like, tears, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And then he gives him the compass, and he's, like, so in yeah. case you ever, like, lose your friends again. And then he gave him the balloon. And then he gives him the balloon. So, like, he gives Pooh the compass. Pooh gives him the balloon. It was like he gave him that piece of his that child. That piece of him, and then he gives Ugh. him the balloon. Because, you know. And then I thought, like, the conversations were just so important, but so innocent. How, like, Tigger is, like, he's telling him about, like, Madeline. And Tigger is like, well, is she more important than your, if she's more important than your briefcase, why aren't you with her? Yeah. Like, that was then, really where he started to realize, like, wow, my priorities are not where what, they should be. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and then you see him, like, gleefully like leaves the hundred acre woods with his balloon to go and mm -hmm. then he realizes he forgot the papers and no, that leaves the Tigger to... fucked up the papers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Tigger, Tigger put like all the sticks and like Eeyore's tail in there. <laughs> he was like that was the important stuff. <laughs> I just, I love that. Yeah, it was really good, and yeah. I really liked that. And then that made them, of course, go get out of there, because they're like, we have to save him, or, because he tells them, like, the Winslow guy is, like, a woozle, and he's yeah, gonna I eat him that. if he doesn't, like, it was really good. Yeah, and, and then, I love when they met, they met up with Madeline, that was, I think that's real, that was that. really fun when she w I ended up going on, like, the adventure with yeah. them, like, the cab, and they're all, yeah. like, talking, and then the cab driver starts, like, freaking out, yes. I thought that was great. Yeah, I really, and just seeing her interact with, like, all all of them was really really fun yeah she recognized she's a child them. so it was like different from when like yeah uh, like adult Christopher Robin like talks with them yeah I mean I love that she recognized them mm -hmm. all from um the, from the drawings and stuff yeah. like, I thought that was really nice and I love seeing them interacting together yeah I like how um I think Tigger had told her that um 
the, the whole like quote about like doing nothing often leads to the very best something that quote yeah. that quote got brought up again because Tigger had told her like that oh your dad had said that and she was like that doesn't sound like like my dad yeah and she realizes like you know her dad was young once yeah i thought that was really great mm -hmm. and yeah i love that evelyn like the, her mom was like going after her like this whole time because she's like worried like oh my god my daughter's like what is she doing and we had like this like chase between like them trying to get the papers to him and then we had mm -hmm. evelyn chasing after them and then she goes and tells um Christopher Robin, like Madeline's yeah. gone, and he, then that, yeah, he ultimately makes the decision. He made that decision. His daughter right was there. more important to him yeah. than his work. Exactly, so he I love Ended that. up leaving in the middle. In the and, middle of that business yeah. meeting, I loved that. This leads us to the whole ending when, um, with Madeline and. Pooh and Tigger and mm -hmm. Eeyore and Piglet and everybody when I love that she ended up with just Pooh briefly with like mm -hmm. the papers and stuff like I really like that because yeah. then we got to see Evelyn's reaction to Eeyore, Piglet and Tigger and she was just like She's like, oh my god. And I love that in the car, though, Christopher Robin was Christopher Robin again. Like, he started, like, reciting, like, the Tigger song. Like, Tigger's a wonderful yeah, thing. Yeah, when he's, like, yeah. telling his wife all about them. I and love And she's that. just like, You're, we're calling the doctor. And then someone's <laughs> flying down. I That's love that, street. though. Like, that was really great. Yeah. And then, of course, she accepts them. It was just really touching, honestly. Mm -hmm. And the papers... She falls, like, Madeline thinks that if she gives these papers to her dad, then he won't send her off to boarding school. And that then, was just so sad yeah. that that's what she thought. And then yeah. the papers fly away, and I love how he had told her, like, that doesn't, that doesn't matter. matter. I just care that you're safe. And she ends up yeah. not, he tells her, like, you could stay with me forever. Like, you don't need yeah. to go. And it was like, just so You don't need to go because now, like, they can all be with Winnie the Pooh and his friends. And the, the ending was just so happy, but it was at the same time, like, just very um, like touching and emotional very because touching. I'm just I'm so happy it ended like that because I was scared it was gonna pull like a Toy Story three yeah. and kind of be like really like just saying yeah. goodbye at the end and that was more like in the beginning of the movie no, with the goodbyes but. but I love that he was able to go and even save his company by taking like Pooh's advice from his when he was yeah. little and like doing nothing leads to something great like I just I loved that and how he was like well, he ends up turning the thing around and he then turns he sees it around it, he sees, like the bigger picture of it and he. He ended loved, up being able I to save it. everybody's jobs. Yeah, I loved it. And then I was really scared that when they were going to go back to the 100 Acre Woods, they were going to say goodbye. And I am so happy that this movie ended with a nice picnic in the 100 Acre Woods thank with everybody. God. Like, thank God. I would have been able to handle like, it. Because I still cried. Like, I, when, um, I love that you had, like, Madeline, like, bouncing up and down with Tigger. And then you had uh, Christopher Robin goes off with Pooh and they sit down on, like, that tree. And it's just, like... Oh, when he, God. like, talks to me, it was like, today was a great day, and I was so emotional yeah. at that ending, too, and I love that it mm -hmm. ended with the two of them. I love how it ended so in the two good. of them with the spot where they originally said goodbye when he was like, young, too. Yeah, I love it. It just ended, like, full circle where, like, it was, everything was fine, everything was yeah, great, and everything's happy again. He has, and his family is happy, and he's happy, and it was just a really, really happy, like, heartfelt ending, thank yeah. God. <laughs> thank God. Yeah. Like, it ended, like, now, like, I'm gonna, like, think, like, you know, they ended, and now Christopher Robin and goes with his family exactly. and like visits he, them. He, he still sees them, so it's, it's, it's okay. Fine. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was basically our thoughts. I mean, we were just very touched and blown away by this. We really definitely loved it. And yeah, yeah. the next movie we're seeing is The Darkest Minds, which won't be as sad, thank God, because we were very yes, emotional. Yes, that won't be like this. <laughs> so let us know what your favorite parts were down in the comments below. Did you guys cry too? Did you guys love it like we did? Let's talk about it down in the comments. Yes, and if you enjoyed this review, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more movie reviews. You can also follow us on our Twitter and our Snapchat. We are at City Thank of the Fatal. Thanks for watching. Bye!